Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. This is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And today we're going to talk about the updates and changes that have taken place in the game, starting with the latest information, which would be the expose update. So for those of you who may not know, simply because you don't have a resistance team, maybe you never thought that they would be beneficial, there was a huge problem with the resistance team, and essentially it came down to the the expose feature on the team wasn't operating the way that it should have been. There were two of it. There were two versions of expose in the game data, and apparently there was an old version and a new version. And the new version wasn't meshing up with the old version. So with it, expose should work. Is that if you if you have expose or if a character has expose, uh, your attack should land properly. It would consume the expose right and apply all the effects that it normally would then there's a possibility of you reapplying Expose, right? If you score a positive possibility, then you reapply it. If you don't, then whatever. So Finn, Resistance Trooper, and Resistance Pilot should, the way their Expose was actually preventing the other positive effects that, that their, their team, you know, synergy allowed, which is turn meter and cooldown reduction, right? So, so in theory, the Resistance team should be drop and expose like crazy under a, a Finn with a Zeta ability or a Zeta leadership. And additionally, they should be going often simply because that ability makes it that much better to do, right? So the reason they didn't fix the expose is they thought that they that it was gonna break the game, right? And obviously they don't wanna break the game, they don't wanna do something stupid, and so they decided, hey, we'll, we'll make a small change and the change worked okay, but it didn't actually fix the problem. And so they decided that in this most recent update, they're going to fix the problem. Resistance is going to do more damage. It's going to be way more beneficial to have a resistance team, especially now that R2 is in the mix. It's not supposed to be as powerful or as, as effective as the Big's Wedge combo, but people are going to probably prove that wrong, and they're, they're going to make it pretty sweet. Um, and then... The resistance is going to do some way more damage in specific phases of the different raids. So my thought, in, from what I've seen, it's going to do way more damage in both the phase two and phase four of the heroic H, the H A A T raid, the heroic tank raid. Um, so build out your resistance teams, folks. Especially if you have R two maxed out, you're gonna wanna have that resistance, you're gonna to wanna to put them underneath a thin lead. Now another major bug that has been fixed is Vader. Now what took place is that uh, Vader's, uh, wasn't his, his, the first bug wasn't stacking on multiple encounters, so the damage over time wasn't stacking properly as the way it should be, and then it wasn't interacting effectively or the right way with Palpatine's Crackling Doom. And so what they did is they fixed the first bug, and then when they went to fix the second bug, they actually broke the first bug again. So they fixed all of it. It should all be working now. Vader and Palpatine should have their synergy back and forth, back together. They've also fixed other bugs with Vader, Cassian Andor, Old Daka, Snow Trooper, Jaw Engineer, and Jedi Knight Anakin. They fixed a few issues with the ships. So then also with the what's ahead, we are told that we are going to get more information on the upcoming event series and, and we will learn quite possibly which character is going to be associated with that event. I think we're going to get Admiral Thrawn. I don't think we're going to get Jedi Luke. With Episode 8 coming out in less than seven months, it is more likely that they're going to release a Grand Master Luke versus just a simple Jedi Luke. I know that this is going to be upsetting to a lot of people, but I do think that it makes more sense from a marketing standpoint to people hyped about the movie. Obviously people want Jedi Luke from Vespin or from Return of the Jedi. I think it is likely that that will come after, but who knows? We'll see probably in the next few days, maybe at most the next week and a half. We're going to do a follow-up video that looks at how to use a resistance team in the HAT raid. So if you have any questions, leave a comment in the section below. This has been Thaddeus for Going Nerdy, and as always, stay nerdy my friends.